Stocks bounced back Monday from the miserable sell-off at the end of last week as cooler heads prevailed over a possible turn in the health crisis. The Dow rallied 236 points, but that was just a mere fraction of Friday's decline, the worst all year. The S&P 500 rose 60 points, and with a gain of 291 points, the Nasdaq nearly took back all of Friday's losses. David Bonson, chief investment officer at the Bonson Group, said Friday's market nosedive was an overreaction. Just as much as I'm somewhat sanguine on what the variant news will end up being, we, there's still a lot of uncertainty, too. So some people still may not want to get fully back into the water. They want to wait and hear some additional information. But I think that the headline issue Friday drove some panic selling. And now you have a partial normalization playing out today. A rebound in the price of oil gave energy stocks a boost. Top officials from OPEC and OPEC Plus said they weren't worried that the new COVID-19 variant Omicron would dampen demand. Crude oil prices climbed, and so did the stock price for oil majors like ExxonMobil. Retailers were a key sector to watch as Cyber Monday got underway. There were some concerns after Black Friday posted the first ever drop in digital sales compared to the prior year. But other early indications on the start of the key holiday shopping season were less somber. U.S. shoppers spent 14% more on merchandise, excluding automobiles during Black Friday weekend, compared to the same holiday weekend a year earlier, according to MasterCard Spending Pulse. Shares of e-commerce leader Amazon rallied 1.6% on the day. Twitter had a volatile session. Jack Dorsey announced he stepped down as CEO and was replaced by Chief Technology Officer Parag Agrawal. Shares ended the day lower after an initial pop.